I am very worried where the world stands on climate. Countries are far off track in meeting climate promises and commitments. I see a lack of ambition, a lack of trust, a lack of support, a lack of cooperation, and an abundance of problems around clarity and credibility. The climate agenda is being undermined. At a time when we should be accelerating action, there is backtracking. Current policies are taking the world to a 2.8 degree temperature rise by the end of the century. That spells catastrophe, yet the collective response remains pitiful. We are hurtling towards disaster, eyes wide open, with far too many willing it all on uh, wishful thinking and proven technologies and silver bullet solutions. It's time to wake up and step up. It's time to rebuild trust based on climate justice. It's time to accelerate the just transition to a green economy. The problem is not simply fossil fuel emissions. It's fossil fuels, period. The solution is clear. The world must phase out fossil fuels in a just and equitable way, moving to leave oil, coal, and gas in the ground where they belong, and massively boosting renewable investment in a just transition. Fossil fuel industry transition plans must be transformation plans that charter companies move to clean energy and away from a product incompatible with human survival. Otherwise, they are just proposals to become more efficient planet wreckers. Fossil fuel companies must also seize and desist influence peddling and legal threats designed to kneecap progress. I'm thinking particularly of recent attempts to subvert net zero alliances invoking antitrust legislations. Governments are pivotal in setting the record straight. They must help by providing clear reassurance. Collective climate action does not violate antitrust, it upholds the public trust. But the fossil fuel industry and its enablers have a special responsibility. Last year, the oil and gas industry ripped a record 4 trillion US dollars windfall in net income. Yet for every dollar it spends on oil and gas drilling and exploration, only 4 cents went to clean energy and carbon capture combined. Trading the future for 30 pieces of silver is immoral. Our acceleration agenda calls on governments to commit to no new coal, complete phasing out coal by 2030 in OECD countries and 2040 elsewhere. And all international coal funding, both public and private. And then licensing or funding of new oil and gas, stopping the expansion of existing oil and gas reserves and supporting the just transition of the impacted developing countries. I am asking developed countries to get to net zero as close as possible to 2040. And there are countries that are already announcing 2035, so I'm not asking for the impossible. And to ask emerging economies to get to net zero as close as possible to 2050. And we have several important uh, emerging economies that have already committed to 2050. Vietnam, for instance, is a good example. So I'm not asking the impossible. I'm asking what requires political will and ambition from both developed and emerging economies. And at the same time, climate justice in relation to developing countries.